Ryan has a question. Can we cross-reference files? For example, can we add hashtags? So I'm assuming, Ryan, you mean in a Google Doc, and I'm going to going to assume that you're talking about linking between different Google Docs. Now, you can definitely do that. Let me show you what that looks like. Google have created a new feature, and that feature, the shortcut to open a document is doc.new. If you didn't know that, you can also do sheet.new and slide.new. So here we have our document. And in this document, I can type away and start creating my document like a normal person. But if I want to link something just like Facebook or Instagram or most other apps, Twitter as well, I guess, or X formerly known as Twitter, I can hit the at button. And here we go. Look at this. There is this new feature called smart chips and smart chips. Let me start to create rich data inside my document. And one of those things that I can do is I can actually mention another file and it will link to another file, which is pretty cool. Now, personally, I don't create many documents myself, so I haven't tested this, but let's let's have a go and let's test it out. So it's given me some suggestions there. We've got transcript from a board meeting. We've got penetration testing. Okay, we can probably try. I wonder if we have a script. So let's do a video script. That's probably a bit safer. <laughs> okay, cool. Here we go, webinar promo video script. Okay, I'm gonna click onto that. Okay, so it's linked a document in here into the file and I can click that and it's obviously gonna give me an opportunity to open the document. I can even open a preview, isn't that cool? I can just kind of like hover over it and open a preview, very groovy. What my curiosity though is if I open the second document, is it gonna show me where it's linked back to the primary document? I don't know about that. No, it doesn't appear to show me. Maybe it shows me somewhere, but, but it doesn't appear to be very obvious here. Anyway, so that's how you link a document in a file. Hope that one has been useful. Great question. I would recommend you check out Smart Chips. They're pretty damn cool. I do use them in spreadsheets. If I wanna create things like a dropdown and have rich data inside that dropdown, very useful for that. So that one is called Smart Chips if you wanna look that up in the help guide. If you like this content, please hit subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can be notified when we go live or drop new content on the channel. If you'd like to connect with us, hit us up on social media or join our free community community group, all the links to that are right below this video. If you'd like to learn more about Google Workspace and the technology ecosystem, you can join our free Genius Academy by transferring your billing across to IT Genius, or you can join a Workspace Basics Bootcamp. Now, if you're a business owner and you're interested in an audit on your technology stack or your Workspace account, or you're looking to do a project in the tech world, well, you can take advantage of our free consultation. And if you need help right now, then consider joining Concierge or taking up a quick fix with our team for professional support for your tech stack.